In this video, I'm going to be talking about why I think Jamaica is the best place to live. But at the same time, I'm also going to be talking about why I think Jamaica is not the best place to live. <laughs> now, I know these are absolute opposites, um, so stick around for that. If Hi guys, welcome back to the Jamaican Experience with Yaz, where I bring you a Jamaican experience that transcends sand, sea, and sensimilia. If you're new here, welcome. This channel is about all things Jamaican, so if you like the video, leave a thumbs up, share, and subscribe for weekly content like this. Also, you can follow me on Instagram at Yazl. Well, let's jump into the video. Now, like I said, these are contradictory points. You know, on one hand, I'm saying it's the best place to live. On the other hand, I'm saying it's not the best place to live. I wavered quite a bit about doing this topic primarily because of some of the things that can be said. However, I'm going to be very reserved. The truth is I started my channel to talk about the positives of Jamaica. As you've heard me say over and over in my intro, a uh, Jamaican experience that goes beyond sand, sea, and sensimilia. These are the things we normally associate with Jamaica. So I wanted to show a different side of Jamaica, primarily the personalities, you know, the amazing side. But I think the channel also needs to be balanced. So let's jump into the video. Why I think Jamaica is the best place to live. Um, what do we think about the perfect location? Um, I think that's Jamaica. We're not too hot, we're not too cold. So year round, more often than not, you can go to the beach, you know, um, you can wear the same clothes roughly. You know, sometimes during the winter months when North America is freezing over, we get a little colder here, so we have to wear a jacket and so on. And then of course there's climate change. But for the most part, the weather is comfortable. Then, of course, there's the geography, the landform, the landmass. These are the beautiful beaches. We have a lot of hills, a lot of mountains. And then we have some plains and some valleys and so on. But it's balanced. You know, you're driving across parishes and you're just looking at the, the beauty. That is just the landform. And then there are the rivers and you know, we have a lot of water here and, and that's a thing that they predict that in another few decades or less, uh, the world is gonna be in a water crisis. And that we have here. And our water is clean, you know? You can drink water from our taps. Um, of course, there may be a little extra chlorine, but our water is really clean. Then, of course, the personalities. Listen, it's funny, Jamaican people, though some people say we're aggressive, and I addressed that in a video I had done some time ago about debunking myths about Jamaica. You know, they say Jamaicans are aggressive and so on, but I don't think you can classify the whole people as being aggressive. And even if they are, I had said they were assertive, not aggressive. So, you know, we're kind of firm. We're assertive, but we're not necessarily aggressive, some of us. However, Jamaicans are some of the nicest personalities you'll ever meet on the planet. Welcoming, you know, um, helpful, just generally nice to strangers and just generally welcoming and nice and they'll do the most for you if they like you, if they like you. Um, what else can I talk about? Freedom. That's another reason why people love any country. Freedom. Jamaica has a lot of freedom in a lot of ways. So, you know, a lot of people come here for the sensimilia, the marijuana, the weed, whatever you call it. You know, the freedom to be able to smoke it, even when it was still a criminal offense, people still came here. Tourists enjoyed that about Jamaica, that they could come and get a spliff and smoke it and so on. It's a spliff they call it, right? I think so. <laughs> you know what, there are a lot of freedoms that we enjoy here that even some of them are illegal to be honest, but it's just something that is understood that as Jamaicans, we enjoy that. Um, right, sometimes being stopped by the police and the police give you a blay and it's, it's actually quite common. And I'm not talking about giving the police a thing, I'm speaking even without giving the police a thing. Or police officers, many of them, they're very human, you know? You can talk to them, you can say, listen, officer, I was just 10, 10, 10 kilometers over the speed limit, like, don't kill me. You know, and they will, they'll give you a blight and so on. And there are many other instances of that in other areas in the society. Last two weeks, I highlighted a video 
about some of the land privileges that we enjoy here in Jamaica. So without trying to make this video long, those are some of the major pros of this country. Then let us look at uh, why do I think Jamaica is one of the worst place to live? And it's, I, you may think I'm going to say crime. I may talk about that, but it's not, I don't think it's primarily crime because crime, we are not, the, we don't have the worst crime rate in the world. It is bad. It is really bad. You know, but it's not the worst or even close to the worst. You can do your own research if you want to find out. Or murder rates are a little higher, but our crime rates overall in terms of the full spectrum of crimes is quite low compared to many other countries in the world. But I came to realize that what I thought was the best place and why I thought Jamaica was the best place to live is because of the landform. And as I said, I was born here, born and raised. I love this country. But what I love is the geography of the country. Is that all that you need out of your country? However, when I look at young people graduating from school with a degree, some of them would have gotten some work experience. They apply for a job, they get the job. Their salary is so low compared. What you're getting paid as a professional here in Jamaica is far less than what you would get paid in another country or a more developed country. What's the incentive for them to stay? So they're getting paid less than what they're worth. Then there's the issue of the value of the dollar. Every six months, the dollar is probably slashing half. I'm exaggerating here, obviously. But the dollar worth nothing almost, right? So you're getting paid um, far less than what you're qualified for and the, the money don't even reach. What you're getting paid is barely worth anything. So you factor that in for a second. Other people in other countries, some of them don't even have GED, no high school graduate certificate or anything, and they're getting far more pay than you. They're able to live a better quality of life. Some of them are sending remittances to their family here who have better jobs than them. And this is the reality of Jamaica. And so one can say, oh my God, the beaches are beautiful and I wanna soak in the sun. And I, well, for how long? How long can you do that when you have family to feed and, and you know, you want to invest and you want to build home and you want to do this and you want to do that. So those, some of us can run off our mouth because we, we have a few things that go on for us or whatever. But what about the people where it's not quite as easy? Next point, it is incredibly difficult for a young person to make it in this country. You know, unless you have excelled academically so much to the extent that everybody wants to take a picture with you, you know so all the companies want to come and take a picture with you and so you get some fame from that and then you get some promotion from that and then you get a nice good good job and everything as a result of that or you win a beauty pageant or something and you get some fame from that with the exception of that most people will never ever make it even close to the top and that's the reality of this country they'll never they'll never see salaries anything close to the top or if you are politically aligned or you have the links to people who are politically aligned and those are the facts so the average citizen can just say you know what i'm, I'm educated i i put in the work and i can, i know i can make it it does not work like that here you have to either be politically aligned that's the major one you have to would have gotten some fame in some way or you have to know somebody who is politically aligned and that is the bottom line of this country so i don't think it's I think that Jamaica is great for the one who has made it and not for the one who is trying to make it. Now, this, these are all my perspective. And then, of course, there's the issue of corruption. I didn't even want to use this word in my video because it's so commonly used that people probably even roll their eyes when they hear, when they hear corruption. But here are the facts. There is no business that you can do in Jamaica without cutting somebody a thing. Everybody expects to, as they would say, eat a food. Even though they're getting paid to do their jobs. Everybody wants to make business owners complain about the, their staff. Thief, listen, <laughs> thief. You cannot have a business in Jamaica and not factor in theft. The staff will steal from you. You have to factor that in into the cost of your goods. You have to hire security for every business. 
And then, of course, there are the people who are inside now who try to get something from the people that they serve. So they, if they don't steal from the boss, they try to steal from the customer. So if you want to expedite the service, they charge you something for that. If you want to, there's always some undercutting, overcutting, and it works in public and private sector. And it's, the culture is infested with that. With all of that said, I don't think Jamaica is the place to live, work, grow business, um, raise families. I don't. Uh, I think Jamaica is perfect for the individual who has made it. And, you know, they're just coming to Jamaica to just live out the rest of their best life. <laughs> you know, or the few who have met the criteria that I've said before. I welcome a respectful debate on this matter um, because I was the pro Jamaica 100% everything good right for years until I started to see things a little different so um, if you don't agree with me you can also voice that in the comments below I'd love to see your perspective on on, on things um, so that's it uh, it's below if you like the video leave us a thumbs up share and subscribe for more great content like this i upload a video every week so hit that notification bell right there and you'll never miss a video when we upload thank you for watching and remember jamaica is not just a place it's an experience